Hakuna kama wewe 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 Hakuna kama hakuna Hakuna kama wewe Ina matuna, inuka tukizwe. Eweni 
unifungie Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hey Unajisikiaje kuwa katika uwanja huu Neema ya Bwana ima hali hapa Bwana ametufungulia mbingu na yeye uwepo wake uma hali hapa Hebu fanya hivi na ushereke Bwana Wangapi tuko tayari kumsifu Yesu Neno la Mungu linasema hivi katika kitabu cha Zaburi 147 Inasema haleluya msifuni Bwana maana ni vema kumwimbia Mungu wetu Maana kuwapendeza kusifu ni kuzuri. Sema kusifu ni kuzuri. Kusifu ni kuzuri. Maandiko yanasema ni kuzuri kumsifu Bwana. Anakaa katikati ya sifa za wanae. Kwa hivyo Bwana yuma ali hapa. Hajatuma malaika peke yake bali ye mwenyewe yuma ali hapa. Ataenda kujidhibitisha na kujidhihirisha. Yeye ni muweza wa yote inua mikono yako juu. Baba tunakuita mara tena. Tunakusujudia mara tena. Tunakuheshimisha mahali hapa. Wewe Mungu sio mwanadamu. Unaponena unalitimiza neno lako. Unalifuatilia mpaka kulitimiza. Jioni ya leo e Bwana, pokea sifa zetu. Bwana wa mabwana pokea utukufu tunaokupatia. Tazama mioyo yetu iwazi kwa ajili ya kukusifu. Bwana tunatangaza kwamba utaenda kushibisha wanao vile uli Yonena, e Jehovah Mungu, tunaendelea kutiisha kila nguvu, tunaendelea kutiisha kila mamlaka, tunaendelea kutiisha kila ngome, tunaendelea kutiisha kila misingi miovu katika jina la Yesu. Tunanena nguvu za mwana kondoo na damu yake mahali hapa. Maandiko yanasema walimshinda kwa damu. Tunatangaza kwamba shetani ameshindwa. Nguvu zake zote zime shindwa tunakamata kila mpinga Kristo tunakamata kila nguvu ambazo ziko kinyume na injili tunakamata kila roza anga na kuzitisha chini ya miguu ya Yesu tunapomsipo Mungu wetu tunatangaza sifa ni zake pekee utukufu ni wa Mungu pekee heshima ni ya Mungu pekee uweza ni wa Mungu pekee katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tuseme amen amen haleluya haleluya nataka kuona mkono mkono wa mtu kinifungia hewani kama tuko pamoja msifuni bwana kwa vinanda na vinuvi kwa shangwa na vigelegele kwa kucheza na kuimba Sifuni kwa maana kwa dini zake za dumu milele. Yeah. Amejaa neema na rehema zote. Woo, shangwa na vigelegele kwa Bwana. Twende makofi ya juu. Unaweza chana tu kidogo. Kimchezea bwana jameni Umejalema Yesu umejalema Umejalema Yesu umejalema Umejalema Yesu umejalema Umejalema Yesu umejalema Umejalema Jane maya ushindi ya 
Hakuna wa kupanana na Yesu. Kama unaelewa tu unachokisema, nataka kuona ukimchezea Bwana. Kwa ustadi kabisa. Kwa madawa kidogo. Kwa maringo kwa maringo.
Simuachi, yes. Nani wako tayari kumwacha Yesu? Nani wako tayari kumwacha Yesu? Mimi sita muacha Yesu. Somebody say I'll not leave Jesus. Till the end. To the end. Sita muacha Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jem ko tayari.
We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. King of glory, we give you praise. You have never been elected, no nominated. You are exalted in the heavens. You are seated on your throne. No other can be compared to you. We exalt you on this ground, King of glory. We say you are incomparable from yesterday, today, and forever. Your name is forever. You reign in glory and power. We give you praise. We give you praise. Somebody help me give God glory. Give God glory. He cannot be compared with things that are perishing. He is everlasting. He was yesterday. He is today. And tomorrow he be. He is a reigning God. Somebody give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. He says the heavens and the earth are mine. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Asante Roho Abuana. Asante Kwakazi Kubwa. Asante Panafasi Umedutunoko. Tunakueshimu Mfalme wa Amani. Hakuna mungu kama wewe, hakuna kama wewe, hakuna kama wewe. Bwana unayotenda mwanadamu hawezi. Tunakupa heshima bwana mabwa. Rapaka tata paje kala ya. Rapaka tata paje tele kapoze. Eh, la bori ya majanta la pose. Thank you my God. Thank you King of Glory. Let us lift our hands and give God glory. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we give you glory tonight. Indeed, what you can do, no man can do. The things you can do, no man can do. You are everlasting, O oh Lord. The Bible says, by the power of your hands, by the power of your mouth, you lay the hands of this earth, O oh God. And we give you glory. Lord, by 
by the power of your breath the heavens are laid and the earth too and everything that is in it oh god who can do these things we shall give you praise in the midst of your people we shall lift our hands as an evening sacrifice we give you glory thank you father thank you holy spirit we welcome you now take preeminence have your way now holy spirit let thy glory the glory of our father whom he has revealed to us in christ jesus be revealed through your word i declare that every ear that hears this word lord and believe it shall be saved according to your word and i thank you for your word father bless it and bless every hearer because this word is everlasting yesterday today and forever it reigns forever and it's in jesus precious name we have prayed somebody say amen i uh -uh, say amen Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. We are excited tonight. Ah, uh -uh. citizens of heaven, we are excited tonight. Thank you, Lord. My name is Pastor Alex. And we are called Holy Gate of Heaven Church. And we are here to proclaim the good news to every hearer and every person that hears the gospel of our Lord Jesus. For this is the life and there is no other life than this life. Every other thing has an expiry date. But with God and his word, it is everlasting to everlasting. Say amen. amen. Say amen. Give Jesus a mighty clap of ring. Even some, all of you who are waiting to me from wherever you are listening, give Jesus a mighty hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Amen. As I say, naitwa pa Pastor Alex Luamba. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii kusimama na ku Weza kuleta neno la Bwana. Ningependa nilete neno la Bwana. Nataka kusoma neno la Bwana katika kitabu cha Petero wa pili, Second Peter chapter 3 from verse 8. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8. And I will read in English, then I will read in Kiswahili too. The Bible says, "But beloved, do not forget this one thing." That with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years. And a thousand years is as one day. Verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some count slackness. But is long suffering towards us. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Nasoma kwa kiswahili, lakini wapenzi musisahau neno hili. Kwamba, kwamba, kwa buwana siku moja ni kama miaka elfu. Na miaka elfu ni kama siku moja. Buwana hakawi kuitimiza hadi yake kama watu wengine wanavyo kudhania. Kukawia Badala yake yeye Anavumilia nini Maana hataki mtu yote angamie Bali kila mtu Afikilie toba Pigia buwana Yesu makofi sema amen Na buwana bariki Neno lake Ningependa kusema hivi The length of time Does not change the word of God Just because you have been a, a, a have been a while long just because you are old you have been in this world for many years and you have not believed the word of god does not change the truth the truth shall remain the truth and as heavens remain and earth the word of god remains as the truth and that is why you can fight you can try to do anything, but you cannot change the truth, which is the word of God. 
Once God has spoken, his word weighs at its appointed time. Wakati mungu amenena, neno lake linangoja wakati likaweze kutimia. Na wakati utakapotimia, neno hili alitakawia hata sekunde moja. Na tumesoma katika maandiko haya, kwamba siku moja ni kama elfu ya miaka mbele ya buwana. Hili jambo haliwezekani katika ulumwengu. Hakuna vile mwanadamu anaweza kulinganisha siku moja na miaka elfu moja. Lakini mbele ya mungu, mungu anaweza kulinganisha elfu miaka na siku moja. Kwa, kwa maana bwana wetu Mungu wetu wakati hauwezi kuconfine ye. Our God is not confined in times. He is not confined in his seasons. Neno la Bwana linasema he sees the end from the beginning. Time is only under the sun. But where God dwelleth there is no time. That is why Mungu anaweza kusafiri miaka elfu akajua jambo ambalo litaweza kutendeka miaka elfu moja. kila ambacho mwanadamu hawezi hata kukakuwa na nabii katika inji ni wachache wanaweza kupata ufunuo huu kwamba wanaweza kutoa unabii miaka elfu moja. kwa maana Mungu wetu anaweza Mungu huyu hajawahi umbwa na mtu hajawahi pigiwa kura na mtu hajawahi inuliwa na mtu Hajawahi pigiwa upato na mtu yoyote. Yeye ni mkuu wa wakuu. Amekaa kwenye kiti chake cha ukuu. Anatawala milele na milele. Hata kama utampinga leo, ujue wengi wamempinga lakini wameondoka. Lakini yeye anaishi milele. Yeye ni Mungu anayeishi milele. Mambo tunayotazama duniani yanaweza kupita. Ni mapito ya maisha tu. Ukuu ni mapito ya maisha. Pesa ni mapito ya maisha. Ukuu wa maisha, mamlaka na vitu vingi ambavyo tunajivunia kama wanadamu ni mapito ya maisha tu. Lakini Mungu ni mkuu. Anapendezwa watoto wake wa furai. Anapendezwa watu wabarikiwe duniani. Lakini pia Bwana anatukumbusha kwamba tusisahau, hatutaishi katika dunia milele. The mercies of God endures forever. The mercies of God endures forever. He has been enduring because of you. Bwana amekuwa akiteseka zaidi sababu yako. Some people say kwamba mimi nimekaa miaka mingi sana. Sasa mimi nina miaka hamsini. Wengine wanasema mimi nina miaka 30. Wengine wanasema mimi nina miaka sabini. Nimesikia watu wakihubiri injili ya Yesu wanasema kwamba Yesu atarudi lakini sijaona hata kidogo any indication of the coming back of the lord na neno linasema na wanasema kwamba tume tangu kizazi cha wazee wetu walio tuzaa tumekuwa tukiangalia tukisema huyu Yesu yuko wapi na hatujamuona lakini Bwana anasema hivi kuchelewa kwake kusiwe kizingizio kwamba ukakuwa ukafikiria kwamba Yesu hayupo wala Yesu hatarudi ujue kwamba ulimwengu unapita na ndiyo sababu kila chochote tunachoona ulimwenguni kina expiry date everything is passing away leo kitu ni kipya kesho kimezeeka hakina maana tena hata magari mazuri mnayaona leo kesho mtakapoyatazama barabarani yatakuwa magari ambayo ni mazee Watu watasema huyu hana gari lakini leo wanao ya magari haya wanajisifu amen ukivaa nguo nzuri unasema ah nimefurahia nimevaa nguo nzuri ni nguo mpya lakini ipatie muda tu baada ya miezi sita, miezi kumi, hiyo nguo inaanza kukosa manufaa inaanza kukosa ile uzuri kwa sababu chochote ambacho tunaona duniani kinakuwa na expiry date kina muda wake wa kiishi hata haya majengo tunayaona kuna miaka ambayo ya kiashaishi wale wataalamu watasema yaangushwe they are no longer safe for human use 
Because the world is not under the control of man. The world is under the control of God. He laid the foundation of the world. He laid the heavens. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 6, By the word of the Lord, the heaven was made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Who can say he doesn't exist? Who can question him? Who can challenge the king of glory? I have not seen them. There are people who have tried to do it, and they never made it up. There was a man called Herod. He challenged God. He stood and said, Who is God? And before he finished the statement, his body was full of maggots. He fell and died. You cannot challenge God. You can only but submit to him. Now my question, Swalilangu kwenu, kila moja nae nisikiza ni hili. Je, hata ukisema umeishi miaka sabini Buwana nasema kwamba Miaka elfu moja ni kama siku Basi, ukinirusu niweze kufafanua Wanadamu wa chache wameishi siku moja katika dunia hii Kwa sababu kulingana na buwana Miaka elfu moja ni siku moja Sasa uke umeishi miaka mia Hiyo ni nukta ya siku hata hujafika nusu ya siku kwa hivyo hata wale ambao wanasema mimi nimeishi miaka mingi wanajisifu na miaka ambao wameishi wakisema nimeona wahubiri nimeona makanisa nimesikia injili ya Yesu lakini sijaona mambo haya ya kitimia usidanganyike ambia mwenzako usidanganyike Bwana akichelewa the delay of God is because he is waiting for you to be saved. God is not delaying because he's not able to redeem the world. But until man gives his life to God himself, until man accepts Jesus as Lord and Savior himself, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And God has been waiting for men to give their lives to God. Because the first man who is Adam, whom God created in his image, was corrupted by sin. When the devil deceived man, man was corrupted by sin. From then, we experience the wickedness that we are seeing on the earth. The sickness the pain, and all the things that we see that are happening to humanity. We are not safe, people of God. Let us not deceive ourselves. Don't think you are safe in any way. Don't use anything on the earth to think you are safe. Only those who hide themselves in Christ Jesus can say they are safe. The Bible says he is our strong tower. The righteous run to him and they are safe. He is the, right, the, the strong tower to them that believe in him. Not to them that believe in the things of this world. God we know that he, he had sin. That is why he sent his only begotten son. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the wages of sin is death. Lakini nataka kuuliza swali. Tunajua kwamba mungu hukumu dhambi. Lakini kwanini kwa matendo maovu ambayo umefanya. Buwana haja kukumu. Kwanini ujaona uchungu kwa maovu ambayo umefanya. Umeua watu. Umedanganya tangu lipozaliwa. Umefanya mambo ya uongo. Umefanya vitu ambavyo mbele ya Bwana ni uchafu mkubwa. Lakini leo bado uko hai. Mungu amekupa neema ya kuamka asubuhi na kuweza kuona siku na kulala tena na kuamka tena. Unajua kwamba hii si eti tu Bwana amesahau. Si eti Bwana 
hajui kwamba unatenda dhambi si eti bwana amesahau maovu yako kwa sababu ambayo bwana amekuweka pale katika uovu wako unajua kwa uchawi wako umekimbia kwa wachawi na kufanya uovu zaidi umejua kwa masiri zako umefanya mambo ambayo watu wamelia maishani je kwa nini mungu ameendelea kukuhifadhi mungu angekuwa kulipisa kisasi na kukufanyia vile umetenda yako basi leo we ungekuwa umeondoka bwana angeachilia hukumu juu ya maisha yako lakini neno la bwana linatuambia hajafanya hivyo kwa sababu anateseka zaidi bwana wa huruma anayeteseka kwa wakati mrefu kwamba nafsi yako isipotee hakuna faida kwa nafsi yoyote inayopotea there is no profit for any soul that is perishing The Lord does not desire they that does he find joy in the perishing of people. God is full of love. The Bible say, while we were dead in our trespasses, while we walked in wickedness, while we walked in the depth of evil, even the traditions of our fathers, the Lord watched with his eyes. The Lord saw us. He saw us grow in wickedness. He saw us grow in sin. He saw us grow in the, uh, in all the iniquities and transgressions. But still God has preserved us. It is because he is long suffering, not willing that any perishes, but that they may come to him and be saved. And today we are here to tell you God wants you to be saved. He says enough. You have sinned so much. You have done wickedness many years. I have been waiting for you to come. I have been waiting for you to come. You have seen many perishing accidents, but I've saved you. You have seen many perishing sicknesses, but I have saved you. You have seen many sink in many evil of this earth, but I have saved you. But enough is enough. Hata kama Mungu anangoja uokoko, hata ngoja milele. Bwana hata ngoja milele. Kila kitu kina mwisho wake. Bwana kuna wakati atasema, sasa sitaendelea na wewe tena. Sasa sitakuonea huruma tena. Nimengoja ubadilishe maisha yako, lakini sijaona. Na una unaendelea katika uovu wako. Na Bwana akiachilia hukumu, hakuna mtu atakutetea. Neno la Bwana linasema hivi. Nana anaweza kusimama mbele ya sira ya Bwana. Hakuna. Hakuna mwanadamu. Hakuna pesa. Hakuna mwenyekiti. Hakuna mtu mwenye mamlaka duniani anaweza kukuokoa katika asira na ghadhabu ya Bwana kwa sababu ya dhambi. Na Bwana alipoona dhambi imegidhiri katika dunia, akatuma mwanao Yesu Kristo. Na Yesu anapoanza kuhubiri injili He enters the earth and he begins to declare Behold the kingdom of God is at hand Behold the kingdom of God is at hand For this reason he was lifted that he may set the captives free And he has given us authority and power to step on scorpions on snakes and all powers of darkness Wakati nguvu za giza Zinaingia kwako. Sijaona mtu akienda kwa daktari, akiambia daktari jirani yangu ananiroga. Nipatie dawa nikaweze kuondoa jirani yangu. Nipatie dawa ni meze nipone niondoe uchawi. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu uchawi ni kazi ya kiroho. Na ni lazima upigane vita vya kiroho. Lakini wengi wa watu wanaenda tena kutafuta uchawi mwingine na wanajiongezea uovu wanajiongezea mapepo wakifikiria wanajisaidia lakini mwishowe wenyewe wanajuta kwa maana njia ambayo Bwana ametupatia ni njia moja tu akasema yoyote atakayesikia njia ambayo ni Kristo akasema mimi ndiye njia i am the way i am the truth i am the eternal life he declared i have come to bring you the kingdom of my father and he said sijakuja kuokoa wale ambao tayari wamepona 
Sija kuja kuokoa wale ambao wako sawa maishani. Yesu anataka kuokoa walio wagonjwa. Wale ambao wamegandamishwa maishani. Wale ambao wakikaa hawana msaada wa mwanadamu. Kuna watu hapa hauna msaada wa mwanadamu. Na ninataka kukuhimiza hata kama unafikiria una mwanadamu, hakuna msaada ndani ya mwanadamu. Hata awe mzazi wako, awe mama yako, awe kazi na anko wako, hata kama wana pesa, kuna wakati mwanadamu anakosa msaada ndani ya mwanadamu. Msaada wako uko ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Ni yeye njia, ni yeye mapito yetu na uzima wa milele. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi, ukisema amen. Siku hazifanani. Na usijidanganye kwamba mimi siku zangu ziko sawa. Nimesema kwamba hauna uhakika kwamba you are safe. We live in three days. We live in yesterday. We live in today and we live in tomorrow. For yesterday we have already passed. We give God glory for what he has done. Today we are sure. But tomorrow we must trust God for it. No man has an assurance that tomorrow it is well with him unless the Lord is with him. And that is why I'm telling you days are not the same. When you travel back and if God gave us the power to travel back last year, we will meet people who are dead today. Amen? Utakutana na watu walio kuwa na mipango kama wewe. Walisema mwaka ujao 2022 nitaenda ninunue shamba nitajenga nyumba lakini kabla 2021 ishe walikuwa mochari wamelazwa pale hawana uhai maisha yao yameisha the curtain has closed on them they planned but god was watching them in heaven and he say you don't understand and the only way to have an assurance from our father and our god in heaven is through believing in our lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Sema big amen. Sisiki emeni yako sema amen. Kwa hivo, angalia maisha yako. Ulizaliwa na baba, haka kuchukia. Hata kusoma, haka kusomesha. Ukaoa muke, ni mateso unaishi tu. Wengine umesoma, Una vieti, you have degrees, but your life is desolate. Hata kazi hauna. Wengine maisha yako ni magonjwa tu. Umejaribu kwenda kwa waganga, umekata mwili wako, umemaliza. Lakini haujapata na fu. Umekibilia watu wakasema wata ni kupeleke kwa wangwana. Wangwana ni mapepo. Hakuna wangwana ambao, wata kusaidia. Hakuna kwa kuwa pepo laweza kuponya magonjwa pepo likiponya gonjwa likiondoa linapelekea mwingine hakuna vile pepo litaponya magonjwa na hata kama leo ukawekwa dawa na pepo magonjwa haya yatarudi na hakuna ila atakuokoa lakini Kristo Yesu anapoponya anaponya na kuponya kabisa the bible say that the devil comes not but to steal to kill and to destroy. Our God is long suffering with humanity. And God has been long suffering with you. Matendo yako ya pendezi mungu. Lakini mungu wame kuifadhi sana. Hata wame kuinua katika maisha. Lakini unendele kujinua kabisa. Hawoni upendo wabwana ni kwa sababu. Anataka uokoke. Wakati mungina uneza uliza swali. Kwa nini watu wa ovu wanaishi miaka mingi duniani? Na watu wa zuri wanakaa miaka kidogo wanafariki. Nataka ni kujibu leo. Ni kwa sababu Mungu wetu anataka mtu muovu abadilishe njia zake. Lakini pia Mungu wetu angependa kuokoa wale walio wasafi kabla wajachafuliwa na ulimwengu huu wakati Mungu anaona mitego ya mwanadamu ni mingi na mtu amekuwa msafi 
basi Mungu anaweza muondoa mapema akaweze kukaa katika ufalme wako mbinguni na ndio sababu huko miaka 40 huko miaka 50 huko miaka 30 kumbuka kwamba kuna mtu alikufa na miaka miwili mtu akakufa na miaka kumi. mwingine akakufa na miaka 20 wewe uko miaka 30 na waliokufa walikuwa wazuri kukuliko wewe lakini saa hii unatembea ukijigamba ah hawa ni kuhubiri tu wanataka pesa pesa gani zaweza kuokoa nafsi nieleze ndugu yangu pesa gani zaweza kuokoa mwanadamu maneno gani ya mwanadamu yameokoa watu aa tangu tuzaliwe tumekuwa na viongozi baada ya viongozi niambie ni nani amenena maneno ambayo leo yamekubariki wewe ni nani ambaye amepanda mbegu ndani mwako ambayo itaishi milele hakuna Mungu mkuu peke yake ndiye anaweza kukuokoa. Kwa hivyo tumaini lako liwe katika Kristo Yesu wala sio kwa mwanadamu. Sasa hii unaishi maisha ya dunia tu. Unaishi maisha ya wickedness tu. Lakini Mungu amekuhifadhi. Na Bwana anasema na ngoja urudi nyumbani kwa sababu adui anakuwinda usiku na mchana. Na kama hutajiekoa ukimbilie Kristo basi wewe lako hauna. Kumbuka miaka hamsini zinazokuja. Je, we utakuwa hai? Unauhakika? Miaka mia moja kutoka hapa. Hakuna mtu katikati yetu huenda almost 99% of the people watching me right now will be dead. The question is this. When you die, where are you going to go? Where is your life? Mwanadamu hafi na roho yake inawekwa kwenye ndege vile watu ufikiria. Mwanadamu hafi na roho yake inawekwa kwenye wanyama. Ndio sababu tunafanya matambiko. Ati tunafanya matambiko watu waliokufa. Tunachinja ngombe kwenye makaburi. Tunarudi makambusho, makumbusho ya baba yangu, makumbusho ya nyanya yangu. Wachana na ujinga huo. Mtu anapokufa hana uhusiano na wanaoishi hakuna ni mapepo they are called familiar spirits ambazo zime study uzao wenu na zinataka utoe kafara ndio ziendelee kukuwatendea uovu ziendelee kuwagandamiza kwa umaskini wacha kuenda kutoa kafara at kwa sababu unapeleka makumbusho ya mama yako wengine wanasema aliniletea ndoto akaniambia mbona mjanifanyia hii wewe nimekuja kukuonya tafadhali hakuna vile makumbusho ya mama yako ya baba yako itaweza kuponya maisha yako ukikimbilia bwana god will have mercy on you he will redeem you he will wash you he will call you his own he is a merciful god usikubali kutembea kwa njia ya ovu Kumbuka kwamba kama hauna msaada ndani ya wandugu zako, hauna msaada ndani ya familia yako. Watu wako walikufa wote. Kila siku ni kutembea na shida. Sasa umekataa Yesu. Wewe msaada wako utaupata wapi? Hauwezi kuingia kwa ofisi. Mtu akakuona akaona kuna mtu kwa sababu haujasoma na umekataa Yesu. Unaishi maisha yako. Wewe msaada wako utapata wapi? Mambo haya hata ukiyapuuza utakutana nayo uishi usio unaishi na ndio sababu bwana ameka roho yako ndani roho yake ndani ya watumishi wake hata kukuwe kugumu namna gani hatutakufa moyo kuhubiri injili ya Kristo tutasimama tukejeliwe tu, tuadharauliwe lakini ili ukweli wa bwana sisi mbele ya bwana tutasimama na bwana anasema faithful servant come and sit with me but you know that the life that awaits for you ahead is eternal life na you can spend eternal life in hell unaweza kukaa maisha yako katika jehana wakati utakuja nisikie vizuri vile unanitazama video mbingu ina ta, ina nakili bwana atasema jioni ile nilitaka usikie mtumishi wangu Alipokuwa anahubiri 
na nikafanya usimame hapo usikie injili ya Bwana ukae pale usikie injili ya Bwana lakini alipokuita kuokoka ulipouza na kwenda zako na siku hiyo ndio ukaenda ukapoteza uhai wako kuna watu unanisikia hauna siku mingi za kuishi duniani sijakuja kutangaza vifo za watu lakini ukweli ni kwamba kila siku tunapoteza watu lakini the tragedy of life there is a man called Miles Munro a servant of God the greatest tragedy of life is not death but life without a purpose unaishi tu hauna azimio lolote katika maisha yako hauna chochote maisha yako you must have a purpose and number one purpose is to know Jesus believe in him begin a new life be cleansed be made whole let the blood of Jesus wash your sins mimi nashukuru Mungu sana kwamba hata kuna watu hapa haukupanga kwamba utasikia injili ulikuja tu hapa kwa sababu ya mipango zako lakini Bwana ameachilia neno na umelisikia na neno hili litasimama mbele yako as an evidence that you heard the word nobody will say lord i never knew it the lord say i did it for you i did it for you i spoke it to you i send my servant brother ali i want you to sing that song utukufu na heshima bwana utukufu na heshima bwana ni zako yawe ni zako bwana usiye shindwa utukufu na heshima bwana ni zako yawe ni zako bwana usiye shindwa utukufu na heshima ni zako bwana Wanadamu tunakupa simama kule nje unaweza kuja tu karibu nyinyi wote mkaribie hapa tunakungoja njoto uko pale njoto 
Mambo ya Mungu ni makubwa ndugu yangu. Hauzi usifikiria unajua chochote. Hata uenda uko huko unapanga mipango lakini you need Jesus. Njoo tutuombe na wewe usiogope. Unaweza endelea na mipango yako lakini unaweza kuja tuombe pamoja. And God will bless you. Naona watu wanatembea wakikuja njooni tu. Father we give you glory. mikono yako mwabudu bwana yeye asaili sifa heshima na mamlaka hakuna mungu kama yeye tuatangazia muji wa bungoma mazuri yetu lazima yataondoka katika mujo hakuna chochote kitapinga kile ambacho ni cha watoto wa mungu in the name of jesus la paka posa la kata I thank you Holy Spirit of God I thank you for your manifestation Holy Spirit of God Only you can convict the souls Only you can save Only you can deliver We invite you more Holy Spirit You know how to identify You know how to convict Holy Spirit and I thank you for what you are doing right now. La pokoto posaya. There are people here Lord that need to be saved. There are people that need to be delivered. They have been suffering under the oppressions of the enemy. But tonight in the name of the Lord, they are being delivered in the name of Jesus. Rakapa kala posete le pasa. Reke pokolo lo boria makata la pasa. La seke pokolo to posa kata pa. Can I hear some intercessors roar in this house? Something must happen to somebody tonight. Father, we worship your name. I want to thank you for delivering your yes. I want to thank you for convicting souls. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. Nataka kuombea watu hapa. In the name of Jesus. Lakini uko hapa kabla sijaombea watu. Lakini unahitaji tu wokovu. Yaani leo unaona moyo wako unasema siendi pali popote. Nataka Mungu karibia hapa. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi. Pray this brother is crying. This is what the Holy Spirit can do. La kapaka tapaka sata pazaya. The Lord can prepare a meeting even for one soul. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not a joke here. This is more than just today. Maka paka tapaka zata pa. Le paka tapaka zata pa. Uko pale unasema unataji bwa. Le paka paza kata paza. Jesus. 
Father, we give you glory. If I was an intercessor, I would be roaring the spirit. Somebody else is walking here to receive Jesus. How do you say you are a man? Somebody being broken before the Lord and just crying before God and saying, Lord, have mercy on me. If you don't deliver me, sin am sad am ingine. Sin am sad am kutoka kwa mtu ingine. It is only you, Jesus, who can deliver me. Yes. It is only you, Lord, who can save me. Yes, Lord. You are still standing there. Una sema ni tena siku gani? This is the hour. Yes. Run here and receive Jesus. Yes. He, he can only save you. And nobody can save you. In the name of Jesus. Just run here. Don't wait for somebody to bring you. Run here. It is your salvation. It is your life. In the name of Jesus. Nataka kuombea hawa ndugu na dada. Nikimaliza nitakuombea na wewe pia. Kuna watu leo because of you coming for this meeting. You are going to receive a miracle. Kuna watu kuanzia leo you have been hindered in your life. After this you can go going to receive a job. There are people today you are standing here you have been suffering under sickness. Umepoteza pesa. Madaktari wame kurifaa and refer and refer. There is a great physician. His name is Jesus. When he healed, he healed forever. Yes. He healed HIV. Yes. He healed cancer. Yes. He healed arthritis. Yes. Zakapakala tapasa. God bless you, my, my brothers. Watch an eye to do. We are do go across some. I have young woman in Patia Mudakido. Nataka Kombe Okov. There is another move of the Holy Ghost in this place. In the name of Jesus. Nataka Wombe na Mimi. We are many Beleabua. While I'm about Miss Mamma Beleang. Nataka to Villa Mene Cave Wombe na Mimi Kosababu Leo Napoca Kilicho Kikuba. Unapokea Kristo Yesu. Na sisi ambao tumesimama tuwaiza inuwe mikono yetu. Mbele ya buwana tukwa ishara ya kushukuru mungu kwa nafsi hizi. Nataka uombe sasa funga macho yako. Sema buwana isu. Napokea wokovu. Naomba unitakase dambi zangu makosa yangu ambayo nimefanya hata kupitia kwa mifupa ya wazazi wao nitakase mie nimetenda mambo maovu lakini damu yako iliyomwagika msalabani ina uwezo 
wa kunisafisha kunitakasa na kunifanya huru leo najisalimisha kwako naomba unitakase niondolee kila uovu wote na mzigo wa dhambi ambao nimebebeshwa miaka mingi baba nisaidie nipe uhuru wa roho mtakatifu leo bwana jina langu liandikwe kwenye kitabu cha uzima naitwa kiumbe kipya mbele yako mfalme naokoka leo na kiri Yesu ni Bwana. Naamini ndani ya moyo wangu. Yeye ameishi. Alifufuka. Akapaa. Ameketi kwenye kiti cha enzi cha baba kwa mkono wa kulie. Naamini ndani mwake. Ndani mwa baba, mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Asante kwa hukumu. Leo nimeokoka. Leo mimi ni kiumbe kipya. Leo nimebarikiwa. Asante mfalme wa amani in the name of Jesus. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi kwa sababu ya hizo nafsi. We give you praise Lord. Thank you King of Glory. Makapa zakata pasha. Now I pray for you. Just come here my sister. Remove the cup. Today receive the Lord's power. Holy Ghost sakapa la pori abasakata pasha. Deliver this woman from every bondage. Rakapoko ze kapa ya mazate. Lakapoko ze kapa katapaza. Rekapaka za prihim. Maza katapata pata za talam. Yes, yes. Holy Ghost. Katapapa baba baba. Yes. I set you free. Now. In the name of Jesus. Every bondage. Break. 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 Break every spirit. Lose this boy. In the name of Jesus. He is free from today. No weapon fashioned against him shall prosper. He is free out of his life. I cast you out. I cast you out. Yes, yes, yes. You are going. You are going. You are going. You are going. Intercessors, release fire in the name of the Lord. This soul is being set free by fire, by force. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are free. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Set this man free. You are sick and you need the healing of God. I am giving you two seconds kindly. It is you who know where it pains. Just come. Unaogopa, unaogopa uponyaji wako. Unapoenda kwa daktari, hauogopi. Utamuambia kila kitu. Na umwa hapa na pale. Daktari akisema basi toa longi unatoa na ujasiri. Haukatai. Kwa nini unakataa kuja kuombewa tu? Na Bwana anakuponya bure. Na ukuje na imani ya ujasiri kwamba Yesu anaenda kuondoa hiyo magonjwa juu ya maisha yako. Wakristo wenzangu inueni mikono kwa sababu ya hao. Nisaidie microphone. Napaka hapa zote hapa zote. Dada umekuwa mgonjwa wapi? Ni mgonjwa wapi? Anaitwa nani? Treza. Treza. Anaumwa na shingo na meno. Na Yesu akasema kwamba utakaporudi nyumbani utapata kwamba magonjwa haya yamemuondokea mtoto huyu. Kwa wakati huu tunapoomba tutatangaza kila aro ya magonjwa juu ya mtoto wako kwenye meno kwenye shingo tunayaondoa in the name of Jesus na hii iwe ishara kwamba Yesu anaishi katika jina la Yesu napokuwekea mikono hii natangaza nguvu za Bwana juu ya mtoto wako natangaza uponyaji mama ukapate amani kuanzia leo ukajue Yesu ni anaishi yeye yuko hai natangazia mtoto wako sasa upone 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 by his stripes he is healed she is healed healing in Jesus precious name and everybody say amen unauma wapi na kichwa oh hapa tuna command this headache now you headache cease in Jesus name 
We declare she's healed from that headache. In the mighty name of Jesus. No migraines, no headache over you. By the blood of Jesus, you are healed. Mimi na umwa na kichwa na masikio na mukongo. Bas, njo hapa. Shika mukongo. Mukongo hawezi kujiguza hapa. Mimi nita shika masikio. Kiachile upako utoke kwenye kichwa, wende kwa masikio. Na ushike mukongo. Na kwanzia leo baba, ukapone. Umeokoka. Kwanzia leo mfalme wa maani. Ishara ya uponyaji juu ya mzee huyu. Natangaza uponyaji. Kwenye masikio yake. Kwenye mgongo wake. Kwenye mifupa yake. Kwenye misuli yake. Natangaza nguvu za roho mtakatifu. Bwana umesema tuwekewa wagonjwa mikono na wata recover. May this man recover from every sickness. Every attacks of the enemy. We command demonic attacks and sickness. Come out of him and set him free in Jesus name. May the church say. Come here. Yes, sir. Na umwa na kichwa, alafu na ishiwa na nguvu mwili mzima. Kwanzia sasa, nguvu za roho mtakatifu juu yako. Natangaza you headache, break. Natangaza nguvu za roho mtakatifu juu yako. Sahi, in Jesus name. Blete hapa, kila attacks kwa masha yako leo. I pull every evil. I pull every fashions of the enemy. Yes. Break and loose this man. You demonic spirits. In the name of Jesus. From today no pain. No pain. I remove that pain from you. And I declare you are healed. In Jesus name. Mtoto <laughs> Lakini bwana ni mwenye rohuruma aponyae daktari katikati ya madaktari bwana katika jina la Yesu twatangazia na anga bojo hiyo magonjwa na demon za sikose mwacha neni mwacha neni sasa tunaponya na anga bojo twasimama bwana kwa imani tunatangaza uponyaji 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 in the name of Jesus Natangazia na anga bojon. Kwanzia sasa. Unaporudi nyumbani. Mtoto akarikave. Akarikave. Nothing is impossible with God. No weapon fashion against na anga bojon. Shall prosper. May your child be healed. In Jesus name. Utarudi na usuda. Na ikajulikane yesu ni buwana. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Inuwe ni mikono zenu. Kuna watu wa unakazi. Unateseka katikati ya watu wengine. Kuna watu una roho za kukataliwa. Nataka kutangaza nguvu za Bwana juu yako. Kuna watu umejaribu kuoa, hakuna njia. Kila wakati ni kuteseka tu. Kuna watu uko katika ufungwa fulani. Dhambi imekufunga. Unataka kutoka lakini ni ngumu. Nataka kuachilia moto wa Bwana juu ya maisha yako. Inua mikono yako na Yesu ni Bwana. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Na ikuwe ishara juu ya wako kwamba wewe unaponya kwamba wewe unaokoa kwamba wewe bwana unatengeneza njia pasipo kuwa na njia natangazia watu hawa ambao bwana milango zao za kazi zimefunga bwana nafungua kwa neema na upako ulionipatia kazi inapatikana na kuletea appointment letter Naweka mikononi mwako. Natangaza utapata fever. Mbele ya mtu. Atakaye kuonea uruma. Na kukupa kazi. Kwanzia leo. Mkono obuana utatengeneza mapito. In your life. I declare to you. That every hindrance in your life. Be cast out. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free from that operation. Be free from that oppression. Be free from that bondage. 
May it lose you now. Yes. I declare the power of the Holy Ghost uh, to set you free from those bondages. And from today, your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. And may the whole church declare a big amen. A thunderous amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to thank God for this day. Clap for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. Celebrate Jesus. When the Lord says yes, no man can say. When Jesus says yes, no man can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody 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 can say no. Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Time is in time is hindering us. Let us adaka up. Let us adaka wake up at the Sija kuja kuuliza pesa zako nataka ubarikiwe. Bring your offering here. Even me I'm giving my offering to God. Come and give your offering to Jesus. Unaweza umekuja marafiki zetu waazimie uko pale. Njoo hapa utoe sadaka. Mungu atakubariki sana. In Jesus name. Jesus says nobody can say no. When Jesus says Nobody can say no. 